Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace, love, and light family. I am Sis D. I'm a spiritualist and a naturalist, and I believe I'm an humble messenger and oracle of the Most High Yacht. Sometimes I come to y'all with messages of encouragement. Sometimes those messages are just general information or food for thought, and sometimes they're correction or forewarning. And today's message, I think, is just general information or food for thought. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Put it in the comments below, okay? Before it, before I go any further, I want to say welcome, welcome, welcome to the first time viewers of the channel. I'm going to pray to the Most High that you guys enjoy the content that I'm going to bring on you today. And as you guys can see, as usual, I am outside enjoying a little bit of nature and trying to get some fresh air. I hope that you guys uh, will do the same also, okay? Before I also go any further, you guys who, um, who are... View, loyal viewers of the channel make sure you like comment share subscribe let's get the algorithm up let's tell uh ai what you really think is good content okay and without further ado y'all i'm gonna just jump right on into the topic okay so the message that came to me and this topic is the topic is are you worth your salt <laughs> and I'm going to say that for you guys again. Are you worth, W-R-T-H, are you worth your salt? As you guys know, salt is integral to human body functioning. Uh, in the olden days, in Roman captivity times, um, our ancestors, many of them who were gladiators and fighters, not because they wanted to, because they were forced to, if they were victorious as gladiators, they were paid their body weight in salt or salt as a reward that lets you know how important salt was right so in the holy scriptures there's a lot that is said about we the chosen of the most high yah are called to be salt and to be light and of course y'all know not since these words i'm gonna leave it in the scriptures for you what does it mean to be salt Let's, let's take it in a scriptural context, okay? If you're thinking about it in a natural sense, y'all, what do you do with salt? Anytime you put salt in anything, sorry y'all for shaking. Anytime you put salt in anything, salt brings out the flavor of anything. Something that just is naturally bland or kind of bitter. You put a little bit of salt on that thing, mm -mm. finger looking good, right? If you have just a plain piece of fish and all you have is a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt, that thing is going to taste everything wonderful. So y'all, we are called to be the same thing. We are supposed to be in the earth bringing seasoning, bringing flavor, bringing that extra panache to any situation, right? Anytime we step on the scene, it should be, oh yeah, Sis D is on the spot. Things are more lively. Okay, Sis D is here and it's kind of chaotic, but Sis D is able to speak some seasoning to that situation, right? That's the salt part. Y'all, and as with light, light, as you know, illuminates. It brightens, right? That's light, y'all. That's what light does just inherently. So being light, y'all, being light means you are going to illuminate, you're going to brighten, you're going to speak truth to any wrong situation. You are supposed to be that beam, that ray that the Most High has called for. We are that light set upon a hill like a lighthouse, and I'm paraphrasing, and I'm adding into also but we are a lighthouse set upon a hill. If you guys have ever been to a lighthouse, that light can shine very brightly, very far distances out over inclement weather to guide massive ships safely home. They don't work that hard. They're very energy efficient. We've been having lighthouses since 1700s, maybe before that. 1600 when candles and whale oil were the means to produce light but the point I'm making y'all is if you truly are light that the most high calls you to be 
you should be illuminating some things you should be brightening some things you should be your presence should be encouragement to somebody <laughs> at least it's D would think so you should be there somewhere speaking truth to things that are wrong bringing facts that's also the part of light illumination the word illuminati comes from that so y'all you heard me mention the word illuminati people get all freaked out and all whoa it's so spooky it is not y'all illuminati means basically enlightened <laughs> like you've received the light it's associated with science now however you want to take it however you want to take it I'm not going to go into a whole bunch of details about it because that's not the point of this video, which is, are you worth your salt? But salt and light kind of go scripturally hand in hand. We're supposed to be salt. We're supposed to be light. We're supposed to bring seasoning and flavor. We're supposed to enhance and light, brighten, illuminate, show truth open and expose that's also what light does if you are trying to wash dishes in the dark practical y'all if you're trying to wash dishes dishes in the dark and somebody had a bowl of chili and that bowl of chili had been sitting somewhere for three days how clean do you think that bowl of old bowl of stale chili is going to be in the morning if you did those dishes in the dark you think that bowl would be or those dishes would be very clean if you wash dishes in the dark and that food had been caked on baked on and you just put in some water in the dark feeling around hmm? just about guarantee you it wouldn't just about guarantee you it wouldn't so i hope this makes sense to y'all okay are you worth your salt salt stop and then question and go inward y'all be introspective do some soul searching do some soul searching and say okay am i really behaving like the characteristics of salt am i bringing flavor am i, am I bringing seasoning am i bringing am i enhancing situations or am i detracting and taking away from it then ask yourself are you behaving like light like or like the characteristics of light would behave are you showing enlightenment are you brightening things are you exposing things that are flawed or wrong or perverted or twisted or that's all light does all of that light enhances too anybody who knows anything about videos or cameras you know great lighting is a kind of integral to a great photo those of you who know about photos uh chime in and let's just do you know if i'm telling the truth or not and i can guarantee you that i am <laughs> i used to be a small slight photography but you need filters you need lights you need flash you need all of that so i have a pretty good idea Y'all go with me? Are you worth your salt? To see as a big body person. I want the most, most high to be pleased with everything that I'm doing. And for him to say, yeah, daughter, you worth all of that big earth suit worth of salt. And some, and then some. And then some. If somebody had to question and say, I know this lady. I know her. Not saying that I am putting myself up on a pedestal or making myself, esteeming myself any higher than I should be. But I think people that would know me would say, yeah, she's a pretty stand up chick. She's a loyal friend. She might be a little bit baddie, a little bit loopy sometimes, but yeah, she's a stand up chick. She is definitely, she's going to be my ride or die. If I need her, a phone call away. That's what I would hope and pray my family and closest friends would say about me. As a matter of fact, I pretty much believe that they would. So, again, you guys question yourselves. If you have to change, 
it's fine. This is a season where we should be doing that anyway. We should all be, as chosen ones, we should be self-introspecting all the time. We should be soul-searching, paying attention, studying ourselves, character development. That should be something we should be doing on an ongoing basis right now. Are you worth your salt? Question mark. Okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and stop right there and say thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you all for spending your time with me today. I definitely do greatly appreciate it. And to the Bible of y'all tribe, to the delightful family, I see y'all, I see y'all. May the Most High bless you and be with you on today. And as we go into the furtherance of this week, and I'm going to close on out like I generally always do. I say, vibe up, y'all, vibe up. This is the animal.